Hey guys, welcome back to Warhammer Tacticals. So today we're going to complete the Kalandis quest. Um, so this is going to be part two, but unfortunately I cannot record on uh, in car when I usually do this. So I'm going to record um, from on the microphone, which is placed in my phone. So you might be hearing me a little bit worse than usual, but this is only for the purpose so I can see how other people do it and I can just tell you how to do it well. So sorry for guys for today's performance, but this is how the video will sound uh, all the time, I guess. So before we get started, I just make sure that the sound in the game is, is, is fine, uh, seems to be fine. And let's go. Anyway, no matter how uh, you will be able to hear me, I will be not able to record this second time. So if you find my voice annoying, you can just mute the video and we can hear ourselves like next next time, next day. So let's get let's hit the encounter number two and yeah, we go. So basically this is the setup which should guarantee you the uh, the full score. So yeah, we, we are starting with the Kalandis, Varotigurius and with the Eitana. And we're going to use the ability with Varotigurius in the first place here. So we've taken down two first enemies. Um, now the people show to go here. And actually this is the first time I see this, this effectiveness, like here. Mm. And we want to go Kalandis here. Hit this guy. And actually we're going to move him here. So the guardsmen should go on this side. And yeah, this is the full score from the uh, battle num encounter number two. So we filled the encounter number three. So we just go ahead and hit encounter number four. So we are about to use some different characters here. So we're going to use the Incius. We're going to use Kalandis, uh, Certus, and the Aetana. So this is the the build which you should play. So in the first place you have to move these characters here just to make overwatch shot. Uh, this is the first step. And right now we have to move the Incius behind the Kalandis and the Aetana be behind the Certus. Okay, never mind guys, um, this has to be played one more time because the units did not position as they were supposed to position, so we're gonna try one more time. Okay, let's let's do this again. Mm. Okay, let's put the clan this right here. Tertus this way. Um, this is strange because uh, every time you play it, uh, they will move like different in different order. Okay, let's try to take these these guys down. Hmm. So basically it depends on luck, because uh, if I check this out on the internet, uh, it should be working uh, way better, so we will try one more time. Okay, try again last time, we're gonna try it, and if it will not work, uh, then we resign. So we put the Kalandis on this way. 
we put the titus here this guy here and this guy here and yeah they do not position like they should in my opinion uh, So what can we do actually? Mm. We can just try to move Aitana here. Because they are in range. So yeah, let's move the this guy here. Okay, let's try. We have still two moves to make. So maybe, yeah, so somehow we did it, but it was not played like like I thought, <laughs> like I saw it on the internet, but we made it, so glad it worked. So we have the encounter number 5 left to complete for full score, so let's go for it, let's play. So this is the setup you want to use, so Vartigurius, Tertus, Calandis, Inches and the Eldrion, whatever. Let's get started. So in the first place you wanna uh, move the Varatigurius and f use the ability on the enemies so we are able to kill four of them. And right now we wanna put the Kalandis on the back, um, Tertus behind the Kalandis, Incius behind the Varatigurius and uh, uh, Adrian right here. Okay. So we want to move right now Varatigurius and put damage here. So it's nice, but it's not always uh, obligatory to take down this guy with Varatigurius only. Uh, you want to heal the uh, Tertus of course with the with the inches. So this is the second step. You can try to use the uh, Tertus to kill this guy. Okay, it even worked, so this is nice. And actually, uh, I would say this is it. He just came. Uh, let's see which is this enough? Maybe. Yeah, it worked. So this is how you can fill the encounter number number five for the full score. So let's go ahead and let's try to take down the uncommon levels. So we have like here three entrances, and we're going to go up with with. Uh, Every level we did not score maximum amount of score uh, yesterday. So let's go for for the encounter number one from the uncommon in the first place. Um, so the characters you wanna use is the Adrian, the uh, Aitana, and the Calandis, of course, which is the primary character on this event. So you have the three characters starting the matchup. Uh, you are completing both quests right now. And actually you can start with the Itana hitting the, the enemies here. Uh, maybe she should be able to take down the two, two guys. It's not, it did not work. Uh, maybe it's caused by the unluck, unlucky or maybe it's caused because of the uh, low level of the ability. Mm. So then you want to use the ability with Eldrion. Um, let's try to use it here. Hmm. Here and here. So it did not work in the first place. Um. So we can try one more time, but let me just watch the advertisement. Before we get started, uh, I would like to upgrade Aitana a little bit because this uh, this abilities which we are using right now is extremely um, useful. Uh, 
So yeah, this is why we cannot um, why we cannot deal as much damage as we want to. So I'll make a single cut. Um, I will play the onslaught level, and we'll come back with the upgraded level of this ability. Okay, so we um, we obtained some some uh, Xenos shards. Not much, but always something. So we're going to try again. Uh, the Sorry, we're going going to try this this one more time. So we are stra starting uh, like previously, mm -hmm. and I hate this game for this uh, that. Okay, maybe it's not an issue. Yeah, um, until it's the ability is not upgraded, you can forget about getting full score from this from this fight, I guess. Because you are not able to kill two demons in one shot, and this is the reason why you cannot. Uh, uh, why you cannot uh, complete it without getting injured. So you have to let it go. But if you have the ability of the Aitana upgraded enough to take down this, these two demons, uh, you should be fine completing it on the full score. Uh, like I said, this is impossible for me. Uh, maybe it will be possible for you, so we can try to hit encounter number two right now. Okay, so let's try this one. Um, basically, it also depends on the ability level which you have right now. So you will have to use the Vartigorius, you will have to use the Kalandis and the Eldrion, which is actually upgraded enough. Um, so we should be fine on this on this stage to complete it on full score. So we're going to... only one thing you have to count for is that guardsman will just escape after the overkilling this demon uh, he didn't and this also did not went well so very nice Okay, mm, did not work, but I tried. I'm just wondering, uh, okay, because we are chasing actually 50 points, uh, let's try to make encounter number two right now. So I, will, I, I can show you actually how you should play the encounter number three, but. Um, I do not expect um, I do not expect you to to complete it actually because um, to complete it correctly you need a lot of um, upgrades on the characters which normally you do not upgrade so yeah uh, you can find on the internet that Inches is about to take down the this demon with one hit but you can forget about it unless you will be lucky like like I am right now. So then you move Certus and to take down the second demon. Then you move uh, Varatigurius to use the spell on the other demons. And you can actually move Kalandis to take down this guy and move him forward. And let's see what happens. So we can move with Kalandis to take down this guy. Uh, you can also move here to take down these two guys. Uh, then you can move Tertus between between these two and actually... You want to heal... Uh, you want to heal these guys. And this is how you can complete it on 3 stars, but not maximum amount of score. Uh, 
So you can cross 7300 points because I just noticed that uh, the the points demands were, were changed. So re last time I remember it was about 7000 points and then 7800. It has been changed. Uh, actually this is it for today. So we completed all in common and common encounters for 100 points. Uh, we have some 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 free space to to complete it, but I really doubt it will be possible with the characters which I have right now. So just to show you, the the Kalandis is upgraded pretty nice, but this character is not useful on the on the guild rates. So if you focus on collecting shards like the Celestine, which I am focusing right now with the Alep node, just to bring him to the legendary level and upgrading the Ultramarines with the Necrons to complete the campaign. Uh, normally you do not spend the uncommon uh, badges to push the characters, which are right now useless. So we reach 7300 points right now, and we will try to catch up like 7600. It means that we have to uh, pass the legendary level Mm, on full amount of score, but I really doubt it will happen. Uh, I will try to to make it better uh, before yesterday recording, but right now this is it. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, sorry for the quality of, of my voice. I hope the next one will be better because I will have some space to make uh, a recording. So this is it and see you next time.